Hi guys, Ashantin here. I think this is the second video I'm going to put up today because I'm pretty excited about a whole new project for a new area. Um, let me just show you where I am. I am standing in front of Ricky's house. Well, if you look at the far left, that's my house. In the middle is Ricky house and behind me is Gummy's house. And I have, I'm going to put F1 on and get back to a normal view. This is Spawn, okay guys? And there is a passageway which I have lowered. Rick and Gummy, I know you may kill me for that, um, but I've lowered it to make it easier. And also for horses, if you want to come through here on a horse. Gate here. More gates here. I decided I'd spent enough time making gates in the last video to last you a lifetime. Skeleton here. Hello, skeleton. And I thought that I got terribly excited about one of the areas around here. And I thought this time I would go a little bit further. I have a bed with me. Gosh, this is lovely here. It was suggested that we should start a new map. But obviously with 1.9 coming out, um, I think I'd rather start a new map when 1.9 comes out. And also I really, really love this sea and this map. I think if we ever depart from here, I may just ask for it. And if you remember around here, I was getting really, really excited about this whole area because of the overhang. Hello, somebody. He's growling. Ooh, golly. Crikey. Right, let's get rid of you guys. But it occurred to me that, you know, even though I find it exciting to have a pool here, um, and this monster ravine which is over here, um, other people might not get so excited about it. So I thought I'd go a bit further. Though I do think, and I'm not sure the ravine would be wide enough, for steampunk houses, but it could, let me just, could look quite fantastic, couldn't it? If we built up from there, but we'd have to take a lot of trees down. We can always plant more trees. I thought I'd go a little bit further and see if there is anything else potentially interesting that we might like to build on. And I don't know if you guys want to come along for the ride. I expect some of you are far more familiar with this server than I am. I'm trying not to get rid of the tiger here. Oh, that's nice. One pull down into another. Oh, I do like that area. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I am going to take of this area, which I like so much that you don't have to like. I'm just going to take a quick uh, F3 shot. There we are. That's what it looks like. Okay. Right just so that there's no doubt what we're talking about. Um, I had enough problems with me confusing Ricky's... Um... <laughs> I think somebody else has been along here. With me confusing Ricky's stable for a bridge. I must admit that building a horse stable, wow, over um, a river. It's not the first thing I would have thought of. I'm just going to go straight. Let me just check which straight I'm going. I'm going north. Okay. Uh, and I thought I would just see what happens at the end, if I ever come to the end, of this. This is a massive tiger biome, isn't it? I'm not going quite straight north, but golly. Look at this. Another nice area. And loads of shorn sheep. I tell you what, someone's been around here shearing our sheep, guys. Every mob in the world in the water there. So do we come to the end of the tiger before we come to the end of the map? And is there a better area? Whoa. I must say, it's a really, really nice biome, isn't it? I always think that when they added the biomes to all the different biomes, do you remember the, um, 
did they call it? The Release That Changed the World. That was the, what it was called. And it was fantastic. I was so excited with all the new buy-ins. Not sure how I feel about 1.9. Um, I just have a feeling that they've spent a lot of time working on the... Isn't this beautiful? Ooh! Harbour area, perhaps. But they spent a lot of time working on the fighting part of it, the combat part. And I have a funny feeling that a lot of the guys who are really into combat um, aren't going to like that. I know that Ricky has very strong views on it. Um, but I'm hoping that it doesn't ruin Minecraft for him. So I know he likes the PvP aspects and he's very good at it. So that's still... Lord, this tiger's unending. Wow. We are certainly nowhere near the edge of the map with this tiger. Well, we could come this far out, but if we built something relatively close, it would be easy to get materials to and fro. But I must say, even if you come this far out, you can put a passage through the nether. Um, but it is nice to have overground passages, and also, if we built it fairly close, it would mean that we then had all this area. Oh, we're coming to the end of the tiger. And it's a birch forest in which to build other things if we wanted to keep the same map. Gosh, this green is pretty. When you've been in a tiger, and that is something we have to consider. Um, guys, look at this green in comparison to the tiger biome. We could build a whole steampunk area here where it's nice and green. And this comes out, that's the screenshot of where we are. So I think that really needs some thinking about, doesn't it? Because building in a tiger biome could be quite fantastic for steampunk. But, oh no, come on, come back. I get this all the time. But on the other hand, oh God, oh my Lord, oh glitching out, right let's try again, wow, the girl who fell through the world, oh I'm on firm ground, yes I am, thank goodness, I need to glitch through here again, I was just thinking though that this is rather a nice area here. It's got green grass. If we want to build steampunk, um, building into the side of hills, and I thought of building into the side of the other ravine. But look at this. You get, we could each build houses around here. There's quite a bit of high ground if we wanted to build into hillsides. Um, and let's just do another F3. Right. Okay, well I think there are a couple of possibilities there, depending on whether we want to build close or far. Um, building close, as I said, gives you the opportunity to use that other area for a different type of build. Um, let me make sure that I'm going south. I'm going north. I need to go south. Gosh, I've got turned around. It's amazing, isn't it, how quickly you can. I think it was when I fell through the world. Um, I think I'm going to return now, guys. And seeing as it's getting night, I'm going to, I think, leave you here and say, look, there's a couple of possibilities. Close tiger, building a tiger. We'll go further out to the birch forest with the green grass. And if anyone else has any suggestions, 